Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing some modifications to the uh, CNC enclosure. We're actually going to add the laser to it. And while we're doing that, we're going to start with the USB hub because we do need to be able to plug in the CNC and the laser both. And the USB is not long enough to plug in the laser yet. So we're going to put a hub out there so that we can plug in multiple things and maybe a light burn camera later. Um, while we're at it, we're going to add an exhaust to it. It does get hot in there and with the smoke from the laser, we want to be able to get that out. So I've got some hose, I've got an exhaust fan, and a vent uh, that we've got a close window uh, right by the CNC. So we'll run that over to there and vent it outside. We also have some leftover drawers from the bathroom remodel that I'm going to add into the CNC so we can get routers and clamps and well not the routers, the bits and clamps and everything into the drawers so they are nice and tucked away at the CNC, quick access to all that stuff. All right, we're gonna start off down here. I've got <clears throat> a piece from the old uh, vanity. This is the width of the drawers, so I'm gonna mark where we're gonna go here and then we'll get them cut out. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. Let's get the other two done. All right, holes all made. Now I need to block out the sides so that I can get the drawer rails uh, mounted correctly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take scrap two by four, build out the sides so that the drawers will fit in perfect. So let's get these installed and then we can get the drawer rails in. Alright, that's in and all of them. It's all out to where we can get the grills in now. So we'll go ahead and take a level, get these installed on each side, make sure and install the proper ones on each side. All right, let's test fit that first one. Perfect fit. All right, let's get the other two in and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, got all three drawers in. They are nice in. Cam clamps, wrenches and stuff gonna be in one. Gonna, we'll do an insert in here and uh, drill holes to get all the bits where you can stand up and know what they all are. And then we've got an extra. I'm not really quite sure what we'll put in there yet, but that's the drawers on the CNC. I'm gonna throw the USB hub in. All right, for the USB hub, it's got a new cable coming through from the computer. We actually pass it through the wall so that our computer's inside and the CNC is right on the outside of that in the garage. I'm going to punch a new hole in the back of the CNC. We will get cable through right here where we will attach it to the new USB hub. That'll have plenty of link to get plugged into the power on the CNC as well as where we put uh, the laser. Alright, now we're going to squeeze in behind 
and try to get this cable through that hole. All right, cable in. Now I'm probably gonna get a little platform, screw in the wall here so that the hub can sit on top of that and then we can wire everything up. All right, so this piece is pretty small. So I'm just gonna stick this up like here and then allow this to just kind of sit on it. It's uh, not gonna be the best, but it will hold it up and it won't fall off this way. All right, now, She's not gonna fall. I'll probably get some Velcro, Velcro it down right there so that it'll be right in the perfect spot. All right, gonna throw a little bit of double-sided tape on the back of this. Now, and CNC cable will go right there. Down and around into control unit. All right guys, here's how the laser is gonna sit on top of our waste board for the CNC. It's got all the room that it needs to move back and forth and the CNC gantry is out of the way. The board is nice and level and sturdy. We're gonna run power over to this side so that we can have the laser always plugged in and perfect spot to where we can get to the hub anytime. We've got a spot for a camera here so we can record what's going on. Uh, we can also look into getting a light burn camera that will be able to plug into our hub as well. So now that the hub's here, we can get everything powered up and plugged into the computer. All right, I'm gonna cut this down for an insert in the window. Then we'll cut a hole in it for the vent. And <clears throat> That way it can always stay in the window and I don't have to move it in and out. So let's get this cut down to size. All right, we have marked where we want it to be and I'm gonna cut a pilot hole, then I will jigsaw out the rest and we can get the vent in place. All right, little filter in place, big chunks. All right, six inch vent hose, just slides over the top. All right, tighten down. I'm going to do a similar process on top of the enclosure to get this in. Hose will reach over to that and then we'll work on the inside. Alright, hole cut in the top. Fits good. Nothing there to hold it in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these 90 degree angle brackets. I'm going to pull off the screw here. And I'm going to put this on and put the screw back on. One on each side should hold it up on top. So let's get that done. Perfect. So when that's screwed down, that'll hold it just perfect. I'm going to controller. Right there. The cables are out of the way. It's not gonna mess with the door. All 
All right, and there's the controller for the exhaust. Now let's hook up the exhaust from the outside to there. We also have one for the inside that is going to be basically just hanging for now because I want to be able to move it down behind the laser and back up. So let's get both of those hooked up. All right, now that we have this where we want it, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this so that it doesn't flop around. All right, we went ahead and used one of these cup hooks and what I did is I screwed it in up in the top corner so that when we're not using it for the laser, go ahead and throw it up here and still we'll run it probably just to get air moving while the CNC is going. It does get really hot when it's closed and then when we're using the laser, we can pull it down, I haven't arranged everything, we can pull it down and get it here to where it can pull all of the smoke out while it's burning. All right, we're gonna see how it works. We've got a candle in here, so let's see how it pulls the air. So that's the CNC enclosure laser and CNC enclosure fully finished and uh, look forward to working out here with it uh, come shortly. So thanks guys for coming and watching. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.